welcome my guys this is question 2.78 and the statement here is that a manufacturer of a flu vaccine is concerned about the quality of its flu serum batches of serum are processed by three different departments having rejection rate of 0 0.10 0 0.08 and 0 0.12 respectively okay, so let me write here the given data first okay and the rejection rates for different departments which are let me have here department a b c so probability of the rejection of department a is how much that is 0 0.10 the rejection probability of department b is that is 0 0.08 and the rejection probability of c is how much that is 0 0.12 so these are the rejection probabilities and on the basis of it i can also find out the acceptance probabilities as well so probability of acceptance of a would be how much that would be 1 minus 0 0.10 so that would be 0 0.90 for the department B, the acceptance would be what? That would be 1 minus 0 0.08. So uh, that would be 0 0.92. And the acceptance probability for C would be 1 minus 0 0.12. So that would be 0 0.80. Okay, so these are the acceptance probability. On the basis of it, let me solve the question and here uh, the inspection by the three departments are sequential and independent so in part a what is the probability that a batch of serum survives the first department inspection but is rejected by the second department okay so in part a i have to find the probability that a accepts the serum while b rejects okay so how to find them out do we know the acceptance probability of a yes we know do we know the rejection probability b yes we know so let me write the acceptance probability of a so that is 0 0.90 and rejection probability of b is 0 0.08 which are given here let me multiply them and that would be 0 0.072 Okay, so that is basically the solution of part A. Similarly, now we have to find out the probability that a batch of serum is rejected by the third department. So it means that the two departments will accept it. So uh, C will reject it in that case. A has to accept it. B will accept it as well while C will reject it. Okay, so C will reject it. Now writing their probabilities, the acceptance probability of A is already calculated and that is 0 0.90. The acceptance probability of B is 0 0.92 while the rejection probability of C is given and that is 0 0.12. So 0 0.12. So now we have to multiply them together and after multiplying it, I will get 0 0.099. So that is what that is the probability that the other two departments will reject it the other two departments will accept it while department c will reject it and that is obtained by multiplying the probabilities of the acceptance of the first two departments while the rejection probability of c is multiplied with the acceptance probability of the two departments and from it i will get this rejection probability so that's it for today and I will be see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video. See you soon.